Hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this um, last video of this series we're going to learn a little bit more about fast API testing so let's begin. So we're going to learn how to um, test another API which will be this API um, from tutorial number five. This will help us comp more comprehensively um, comprehensively test an API better than just a, just a hello world. So um, some requirements are PyTest, UVCorn, and FastAPI, pip install. And also, we're going to put all of our um, tests in a separate um, file because, of course, you don't want our file to be all messy with tests and our other features and our main features. So, and also, um, in order for us to um, run just PyTest, to make it simple, you have to do test underscore and then it will automatically use this file. So what we do is from fastapi.testclient, so our client is the, is the one that's going to send the request. So import test client, and then from main, import app. Um, and then client equals test client app. Remember, when we import app, we're importing the main point of interaction, which is essentially, we can consider this um, like it represents the entire app. And our test client, um, the test client, test client also uses um, requests, um, but you don't have to import requests. It's already part of the whole entire Fast API test client. So to begin with, we need to um, start with the first one. So no async. We're just using regular functions. So def um, test uh, create to do, and then we're gonna do response, and that's gonna equal to. Um, our method we did for our create, so that would be client.post and then our URL, we're going to send, where we're going to send um, our data to and to make this simple, we're just going to put our data inside a separate one because we're going to spread it around so um, our fields or name, um, if you remember up here, so name, due date, description so name and we'll put Isaiah T Tech and then we'll also put the dig which we'll do okay let's just do today as this is all strings and then our description we'll just say testing and fast API This will be kind of our like sample data that we're going to use for um, as we're testing as remember we're not using Swagger UI. And then we're going to put data and this makes it a bit easier to pass the data around instead of like writing it, writing it over again as JSON equals. So yeah, we also have to put JSON equals. And then we have to assert our um, response status code. So to make sure that is successful, we also have to assert that the response our JSON, the JSON response is data. And in our terminal, we just run PyTest, and there is an invalid syntax. Um, also it must equal equal, so we're not wait, so we're not assigning. Um, it has to be the same. So equal equals when you assert. So double equal sign because we're not assigning. We are making sure it equals to. Um, that so if the response status code is 200 and um, our tests pass you you may see this uh, if you do pi test minus v um, you'll see a little bit of more um, detailed information saying that okay this test create to do um, has passed next we're gonna create our get all to do's so um, so we do just def test get um, all to do and then we're going to do our response equals client dot get, and that is going to equal to to do. And our JSON is going to be our data. Then we're going to assert the same one. So if you if you forgot what two hundred was, two hundred is successful. Again, and we're going to instead of doing assert response to JSON, we're going to do assert data in response dot JSON. So what that's going to do is it's going to um, put our data 
inside the response.json in which is going to um 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 okay return it but remember we're just testing so it's just gonna say the past and that passed too so next we want to do our test get to do and since we only have one to do we can automatically assume that it's going to be a response that, that equals client dot get and then to do and then we also have to assert a response dot status code and that will equal 200 and assert a response dot json and the response dot json has to be data and that has passed next one we're gonna do is our def test update to do so we're gonna test our update to do so def we're gonna test um update to do and this is going to be our response and our our uh, method we put in this case and like the get to do we're gonna do okay so to do is zero in our JSON is going to be now um something else. So we're going to change it. So let us do our name and that's gonna we're just gonna change it. We'll just name it test and then and then our Due date is we'll just say now and then our description is Python. Commas make sure. Um then after that we're going to make um again assert a response dot status quo. And then we're also going to assert um our response of json in this case our response of json so um, our technical output will be this yeah we input it earlier and then um, we'll just copy and paste that make it simple and now when you run it it has passed now the last one is to delete to do so we do test delete to do and our response is go is equal to client dot delete and that's equal to to do and then that's equal to zero and then now and we're also going to okay put our um our JSON, um, so we can just do um, assert our uh, response status code as 200 because what well, in our earlier code we were going to um, just return the object or um, the item in the list, or in this case, to do. To do. And we're also going to assert the response.json will be here so and that has passed so um this is just basic testing i did go i did go a little bit quick in this one but um i hope that you understood a little bit more about testing and this will be the last video in the fast api series i'll probably do more videos about fast api but other than that Thank you, and thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe.